Hello and welcome to Sysberg. In my previous video, I covered leadership checklist as one of the key elements for you to consider when establishing management system foundation for your business, which included what is leadership, importance of reviewing leadership, the attributes that demonstrate leadership ability, who should review leadership, as well as some guidance on how to get started with the process of reviewing the leadership. I suggest you watch that video if you haven't already. You can also find the link in the description section. In this video, I'm going to cover another key element, planning. By the end of this video, you will learn what is planning, why it is essential not to ignore this process, when you should be triggered to review this process, who should be involved in the review of this process, and how to review this process. So what is it? In simple terms, planning is about deciding in advance who will do what by when in the future regarding your organization's strategies and actions, taking into account the associated risks and opportunities. Let's look at why it is essential not to ignore this process. You may have heard that failing to plan is planning to fail. To put this into perspective, I would like you to recall one of my earlier videos about understanding the organization and its context. On that presentation, I discussed the importance of reviewing the organization context for making informed decisions. I also provided examples of informed decisions such as actions to improve, actions to manage risks or optimize opportunities, develop or refine strategies to achieve vision. These actions or strategies arising from the review of the organization context needs to be further broken down after considering some practical aspects. For example, can the proposed action be implemented in real scenario? After all, how much you want to achieve your objectives depends upon your capability to achieve. One of the main aspects to consider in the planning process would be the support mechanism, such as money, human resources, technology, infrastructure, availability of time, and their conditions to get an idea of how much you can achieve in a given time frame. It is not enough to come up with actions alone. The actions have to be appropriately programmed to ensure that how much you want to achieve your objectives are also SMART, which stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. In other words, when planning, you also want to ensure that the person responsible for the actions is appropriate. Sub-activities regarding actions are well-defined. Mechanisms to monitor actions are suitable and there is a realistic time frame for the actions to be completed. Your objectives can only become a reality if who, what, when and how are also in harmony with the planned actions. Therefore, it is essential to properly review the planning process. When you should be triggered to review planning. The frequency to review planning process can vary depending upon the size and nature of the organization. Organizations may benefit by setting frequency for periodic review, for example, daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, etc. Who should be involved in the review of planning? Responsibility for reviewing the planning depends upon various factors such as the size and nature of the organization, your objectives, that is, what and how much you want to achieve, relevance of your objectives with the role. For example, if one of your key objectives is to buy good quality raw materials, you may need to involve supply chain manager as well as the person in charge of your incoming goods inspection department so that they can provide you insights for your raw material planning. In larger organizations, data for planning are collected from various line managers and reported to the company's senior management. This will allow the senior management team to make informed decisions when planning and cascading the business objectives at relevant functions, levels, and processes. Small business owners tend to take multiple responsibilities by wearing several hats simultaneously. Responsibility to plan could be one of those hats. However, the key is when reviewing the planning, it is essential to consult with all those who are relevant. How to review the planning process? To ensure that the planning process is adequate, suitable and effective, check if you are considering the followings when planning. The informed decisions from the review of your organizational context. If the above decisions 
have been further broken down into what exactly you want to achieve by a specific time frame along with key performance indicators KPIs compliance requirements that are significant to the business contingency plans support and resources mechanism to monitor and evaluate the effectiveness of KPIs as well as mechanism to improve please note that the table above is provided as a guidance only please add items if you find to be relevant to your organization these points are also covered in a checklist which you can download through the Sisberg website finally make a bulletproof plan but be prepared to change it if needed ISO based standards such as ISO 9001 ISO 14001 and ISO 45001 require organizations to demonstrate planning against a number of attributes some of which have been mentioned on this presentation so before we end let's recap what you learned so far you have learned about what is planning the reasons why you should not ignore planning the triggers to review planning who should be involved in the review of planning and the ways to review planning hope this will help you to review the planning process in your own organization Please write to us if you have any questions or if there is any specific topic you want us to cover next. Thank you for watching this video.